If you've taken a stroll down Clark Quay lately, you might have spotted a whole stretch of stalls along the river promenade. Wondering what it is? Well, it's the Clark Quay River Street Market, which is part of the Singapore Food Festival. So now I'm at the Singapore River Market where, as you can see behind me, there's over 50 stalls selling international and local wares. Now this area is supposed to be the local version of London's Portobello Market. But is it true? Well, we're going to find out. Yeah, and, and we were strolling here because we, we saw some activities out here. So, okay. yeah. so, so you didn't know that they had this river market? No, not, not in here. But, but it's nice. I, I think it's refreshing and, and, and I like it. I oh. think my kids like it too. Okay, do you like it? Yes. yes. Have you been to London's Portobello market? Yes, I have. Okay, this is supposed to be the local version of London's Portobello. Do you think oh. it's similar? Oh, close enough. Okay. Close enough. Well, with the local flavor, yes. <laughs> supposed to be Pranakan, isn't it? Oh, the team, you know? Spicy. There's only one at the start, right? Yeah, I see only a lot of all these other things. Oh, but it's yeah. nice, you know, to walk along the river and yeah. enjoy with the crowd. Is it something that you'll come back for? Yeah, why not? Yeah, okay. yeah. This is supposed to be like London's oh, okay. Portobello Market. Do you think it will be like it? Actually, I just came back from London last week, but I, I, I just missed the market. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's good for to give us more variety, uh-huh. yeah. And, and I think it's showcasing the local product as well. Well, whether they believe it's like London's Portobello Market or not, they certainly like the concept of the River Street Market. After all, you get to see all sorts of local arts and crafts, from unique accessories to Peranakan delicacies. And some stall holders we spoke to also praised the concept, saying it's a great way for people to find out about their business and the products and wares they sell. We will be very soon in Takashimaya, yeah. so we were thinking that uh, uh, for before we start there, we need um, an, another stall or something that uh, maybe in the night it's nice for uh, having also the tourists. So Clark Quay is really the best place for starting it. Yeah. It's great because normally also we are um, also with the food stall. So it's, uh, everybody can come here for eating nice things and buying also uh, souvenirs. So it's great the combination. Basically, as you can see here, it's actually, um, I'm doing um, Japanese art. So basically it's my interest to do that. I would want to you know, uh, promote this art. And I feel that um, current river um, festival maybe attract a lot of people so that I could, you know, um, uh, create the awareness. Yeah, correct. I think it's a great deal of uh, experience for shopper because um, have got uh, great varieties of items that um, you know uh, people could look forward to, and you know they could actually buy from down from arts to fashion, as I can see, and some kids' as activities, and also in conjunction with the Peranakan uh, food. Um, yeah. If you've missed the last weekend, there's still another chance for you to check out the market. The Singapore River Market will stay open between 4pm to 11pm daily from the 24th to 26th July.